A student asked me about the effects of wood grain and the direction of the grain on your work. And so I have a piece of uh, sugar maple here, hard maple. And I've drawn a line with a marker parallel to the wood grain. And I have a um, low angle plane from Veritas. And I'm gonna make a quick shaving across here. Maybe I'll do two of them. And you can see the quality of the shaving that comes off. And it's pretty much a continuous band. Now I'm gonna step around, I'm gonna plane the other direction. So here I go. You can see I'm planing with greater difficulty because I have a, a narrow opening uh, between the body of the plane and the iron. It does a pretty good job, but you can probably tell that I've got more resistance to the cut. And you can see that the uh, shaving is a, a bit more ragged. Now the reason for that is, as the plane goes across, the wood grain is trying to pull the iron down with the grain. And so it, it's uh, more difficult to cut. And it's counting on the chip breaking function of that narrow mouth to break that chip up as it goes across. Now coming from the other direction, you can see that the grain is leading the edge of the plane out of the stock. And so it makes it much smoother. Now in many cases, this won't make any difference. Um, if you're using um, a sharp carbide blade in the table saw or what's a, a helix style head in the planer, it gives a much smoother result. But paying attention to the wood grain is an important thing to do, not only because it's uh, an expression of your own attention, but it can give better results. One of the things you'll notice about a jointer is that the rotation of the knives, this, uh, this particular jointer has a Shelix style spiral cutter head so it has all these little segmented cutters made of carbide, but they're all rotating towards the operator. And as they come across here, they're exiting the wood the same direction as the grain exits the wood, and that will give you the best results. Now, if I turn this the opposite way, you can see that the knives are hammering into the would and have a tendency to pull it out, which then of course is what would be the cause of tear out. Now you very, you have really good results generally one way or the other with this Shelix style cutter head. In the old style cutter head uh, that had the straight knives, it would make a difference. And if you notice that you're getting tear out, then you just simply turn it the other way and you often get better results. A planer is very much like a jointer, but with the knives, uh, with all of the knives on the top, it's kind of like a jointer turned upside down. And so the rotation of the cutter head is in this direction. And so you can see that the, this would be the ideal way to cut because the knives would be exiting the wood uh, in consistent with the movement of the grain. Now you can see that if I turn it the other way, the knives are hammering into the wood and that will often cause greater tear out. 